app icon. Usually the first encounter a user will have with your app before viewing it or even viewing your app store page is the app icon. Don't you forget it. It has zero programming and 100% graphic design. And as such it has a major heavyweight factor of whether a user will decide to even click on your app among other apps in the search results and even be the factor to continue and download it afterwards or click and open it on their phone after they've downloaded it. An app icon can heavily determine your app store app page number of visitors which will naturally directly influence your app's number of downloads. Thankfully we can easily test it using the Google Play Store A-B testing. If you really care about your app, if you want to heavily increase your download conversion, pay for a professional icon designer. I cannot emphasize how much it is worth the money invested. Yes, even if it costs a few hundred dollars. I personally would rather invest a few hundred dollars in a top-notch premium quality icon than trying to save money and then getting just an average looking icon which will in turn get medium range results and push me to do more A-B testing, spending more money and on and on. You need to realize that it's one of the best things to invest in and this investment might as well return to you with a bonus if you end up converting those downloads to revenue. Now I'm going to reveal to you the A-B testing of Sandra's app icon going from a simple normal icon, it's not too bad, to a spectacular one in comparison. Okay, ready? In the first test we confronted the old icon versus one of the new icons. The results were overwhelming with a staggering 39-62% to increase in install conversions. Then we went on and we tested out the previous winner with a different new variation. A hand which draws instead of the starfish. Again, outstanding test results with a heavy increase in download conversions. Make sure the graphic designer that you choose has experience with app icons. Ask for some draft sketches before the final product. Make sure to let the designer know what kind of concepts you desire to have more or less. And then choose two or three concepts to be fully developed that you can send directly to your app icon A-B testing. After you do this, let the competition begin. Pick one of the new icons and perform an A-B test with the new one versus the old one. Why? Because when it comes to A-B testing, you are not a judge. Remember, it's the users and the users may surprise you sometimes. They just might like the older icon better. It is possible. After that, you can keep on performing A-B testing with a new icon versus new icon B. One A-B test at a time, of course. If you don't have a lot of traffic, wait as much as it takes for Google Play to determine the results. Another final note, your icon should look the best in the different placements, which are the search results, where it should stand out among other competitors, the actual app page, and on the device itself after the user installed it. Make sure it looks right with the new round Android icon design. Happy testing!